Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and we got uh, Gunslinger, Left 4 Dead, The Apartments, Suicidal. I like this map. This is my favorite part, though, is Wave 1, when all the, the Zeds, like, the flood up these stairs, and you Locked just get to go. shoot them in the face. Although, you know, at this point in time in my life, when I'm exhausted and, like, barely awake, probably gonna have troubles with this kind of, like, I'm walking into the, like, I'm literally not able to get past the door comfortably. That's the level of, like, skill that I'm at right now, okay? It's bad. It's really bad. I can have enough bullets to finish this wave? I don't think I will. <laughs> I, I might. It'll, it'll, it will be close, though. I'm, like, just spraying, dude. What happens when uh, when I'm super tired? Can you destroy these? Uh, I think I destroyed the fan. I think the fan was spinning earlier, right? I believe it was. Can't tell you can't you can't lie to me and say it wasn't, okay? I won't believe you. Even if you're right, I will not believe you. Cause I, I'm so set in my ways. It was spinning, okay? Like it or not. Can I jump on top of this? No. It's got like an invisible wall above it, you know? The model kind of extends to like there. The heck? I'm sorry the commentary saw like I'm actually dead. What do you want what do you want from me? I'm only making this video because uh I don't want to feel like I missed an episode. It's not for you, it's for me. Watch the next episode. It'll be I don't know. I have D and D tomorrow. That's what we'll talk about today, if I remember. Um, I have D&D &D tomorrow. Uh, early in the morning. We got uh, the members together. The one of them who is uh, going through her own personal character stuff is going to be there tomorrow. So that's good. We can actually like play. Um, I'm excited about it. It's been uh, it's been a while since I last played D and D. I think every time I talk about this, I I, I just I end up rambling about how I want to be a player instead of a DM. I like being a DM. I just I also like being a player, and I don't get I don't get to be a player. My old group messaged uh, saying uh, that he was going to be running a one shot or something like that, and uh, if people would be interested, and I was the only one who responded. I'm like, uh, yeah, please. I'm always interested. Nothing's uh, nothing's come of it yet, unfortunately. It'd be nice if something does. Um, but nobody else responded. I mean, it's just you know we kind of grew apart. We don't really uh, get together anymore. We don't really play games. We don't play D and D. It's really sad. I cried when uh, when we split up. To be honest, I cried a lot. Cause I I missed them, and and I knew I was gonna miss them, and uh, I didn't want it to happen. I mean, it's you know it's unavoidable. People uh, have responsibilities and stuff to, to deal with. Um, there was just no way we'd be able to continue playing together. Just a lot of stuff happened, and it was like it was pre-COVID, um, like a month before COVID, but <laughs> it's still pre-COVID. Um, and uh, you know, it, you can't avoid it. You can't. It's nobody's fault. Everybody had responsibilities to take care of. And uh, we ended up having to split apart, which sucks. But um, you know, I, I, I'm not mad at anybody. I'm just sad in general. You know, it's hard to find a group like that that you really like. You know, a group that you trust, who you feel comfortable with. It's hard to it's hard to find that. 
especially in the D&D um, stuff, you know. D&D players, generally speaking, pretty weird. You know, I, uh... <laughs> like, it, it, it's it's the weird kid thing, right? You end, you end up getting a lot of weirdos when you play D&D. Um, and uh, especially as a, as a woman, especially as a trans woman, lots of uh, badness coming from that as well. Um, you know, when I was doing, I, I recruited people for the uh, the DND group that I was part of. I was uh, I wasn't the DM, but I was the person who kind of like ran it and uh, organized it and stuff. You know, you know, we ended up becoming friends, and like the responsibility kind of shifted. Um, but when it came to sort of like group management, like we need to recruit a new player, we need to, um, you know, do this or that. Like I was kind of the person who had the uh, the responsibility to um, to do that, which was fine because like you know I was happy to do it at the start to to find people, and I was happy to. Uh, I wasn't really happy um, to do it later on, but you know it, 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 that, that, that you know. It wasn't often enough for it to be a major problem, and I was the one who started the group. So when it came time to recruiting people, they, they it just kind of naturally fell on me, since I was the one who did it before. I'll just be the one that does it again, right? Um, very natural way of it to go. But we ended up being friends, and like the responsibilities of of like organizing a day and um, you know, all that kind of stuff kind of got shifted, uh, especially towards the DM. You know, the DM's kind of the one who has control over that. Um, but, uh, when I was recruiting people for the D&D group, there were a lot, because I, I, you know, it was on Reddit, and, uh, people would, um, like, comment and, and, like, leave their Reddit username, right? And I'd be able to go and investigate their Reddit profile to, to see what they're like and uh, I, I told the the group about that later on they're like you creeped my reddit profile I'm like yeah <laughs> you you want me to just like invite anybody no like, I'm, I'm making sure they're like adults not total jerks and like you know there, there's gonna be at least some chance of uh, of it working out you know um, so I, 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 you know, I, I investigated people's Reddit profiles and, and stuff. Um, one of the, one of the guys in the, in the group, one of the ones that I liked, there were a couple that I, or there was one that I, I didn't particularly like, uh, who got added in later on. Um, at the time when I wasn't really into it and I didn't really want to have the responsibility, I, I made poorer choices, I guess. Um, but... Uh, one of the ones that I did like, which was most of them, um, I, uh, he actually didn't have a, um, Reddit username. So I, I think he made a Reddit account, maybe, like, to message me and be like, hey, this is my email. Let me know if I can join. I won't be on Reddit. <laughs> um, so I didn't have like a Reddit profile to search through, but I was kind of like, you know what? The kind of person who's not going to have a Reddit account and is going to use email instead, they're probably like, you know, at least mid thirties. And <clears throat> he was. So I was like, yeah, no, I'll, I'll go ahead and add it. You know, you, you've, you've passed the minimum, you know, not having a Reddit account passes the minimum level of acceptance for uh, <laughs> joining my group um, so I, I kind of took a, a bit of a gamble with that one honestly it worked out pretty well but it was definitely a bit of a gamble um, but yeah there were there was a lot of people I'd, I'd go through their reddit posts and it'd just be like racist sexist you know transphobic homophobic just like lots of just total garbage in their uh, in their reddit history and I'm like yeah, you, um, you, you, you don't get to, to join in on this one. Oh, <laughs> what a shot. 
Well, you don't get to join in on this one, so it's just uh, for, for finding a group that you like is hard. Who's short of cash? You know, and then and then when you add in that that you're also like a minority, it's uh, extra hard. A minority of any type. Like there's there's a lot of racism that goes on in D and D as well. You did like it's it's a it's a great place for people to to go and and be racist or sexist or whatever and be like, well, I'm just role playing as my character, you know. Um, it's a terrible place, really. Um, if you find a good group, it's like the greatest place ever. Um, but if you just go like join your local D and D group, that at like you know the the game store or something like that, like my experience. Unless you're like, you know, a white male, it's probably a good chance it won't be an enjoyable experience anyway. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, subscribe, see more, uh, comment. Yeah, I'm just done. Good night. <laughs>